Hello and welcome to CPPN Technology, Part 1. In this segment, I'll provide an introduction to how we use technology during a CPP Learning Collaborative. I'll be using email addresses during this video tutorial. Please do not email these addresses as we don't check them. I'll also try to go through this slowly because we know that many mental health professionals suffer from severe tech phobia, and we hope to make this as painless as possible. Now, during a CPP training, many trainers will use Google Technologies to connect with training participants. We do this because it's free, it allows us to easily share resources, and it's sustainable. You can continue to use these resources even after the training has ended. The steps to do this are, first, we need you to get and share an email address connected to a Google account with the training team. The training team will then add you to some Google groups, typically two of them, one for your consult call and one for the full training group. In the future, if you want to access your Google groups, you can go to groups.google.com. The training team will then connect the Google group and you, because you'll be part of that group, to the resources. Now, some of the Google-based resources that we typically use include a listserv. Your Google group actually acts as a listserv. You can send email to everybody in your consult group or your entire training group by just emailing the group name at googlegroups.com. We also try to set up a shared Google Drive folder, uh, especially for your consult call, where we put a sign-up sheet and other resources, including a case presentation template. And you can get to your Drive folder by going to drive.google.com. And typically, there's a forum that is automatically set up for each Google group, and your group can choose whether or not you want to use the forum. Some other optional Google-based resources that your trainer may use include an online attendance sheet. They'll let you know if they're doing that, a Google Calendar, and an intranet. This is sort of a new thing that we're trying to develop for trainings as a way to organize resources. What's important to remember is that the email that you give the training team acts as a key to accessing the resources so that when you go to access resources on a Google Drive, you need to be logged in with the right email address. Otherwise, you won't be able to get in. Now to check which email you're using, you would just go to the upper right-hand corner of your screen in your browser and click. Typically, there'll be a circle, your photo, some type of logo. And when you click, you can see what account you're using. And it should be the account that you gave the training team. If you're using the wrong email, you might see an error message like this one, and then you would know that you could switch accounts just clicking there. Or if actually this was the email address you gave the training team and you're not able to access the resource, you could click on Request Access. Now, some of the tutorials that we have for you are the Introduction and Overview. We're almost done with that. We'll have a brief tutorial on using the right browser, downloading Chrome. Then getting started, getting and sharing an email address that is connected to a Google account. Joining the Google group, including the listserv and the forum. Accessing a shared Google Drive folder. And then accessing other Google-based resources, including a calendar and a closed intranet. Now we do know that unfortunately some workplaces block Google. These places unfortunately tend to block all technologies that we might use. So as a first step, you could ask your IT person if they could give you access. Hopefully that'll work. If not, we're hoping that you can access the, t the resources through your home computer, a smartphone, or a tablet. And if you're using a smartphone or a tablet, you may need to download the apps like Google Drive. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to edit the files like the sign-up sheet. So this concludes part one of CPP and technology. And now if you're ready, you can go ahead and click on part two um, using the right browser, Google Chrome. Thanks so much.